Philip, today I take you to be my husband. I have longed to call you my husband for a while now, but I will never forget who you were to me before this day. You are my one true love, my best friend, and of course the best coffee-loving adventure buddy a girl could ask for. Dear Allison, it's unbelievable to me that I get to stand here in front of you today. From our first meeting, you in high school, then to us crossing paths in Ohio, to our first date at Sozo, and all the countless dinners, trips, phone calls, and kisses that bring us together today. I vow to support your dreams and encourage you in times of struggle. I vow to feel your pain when you are hurt so that you are not alone. And I and to lift your accomplishments high so that you may stand proud. I vow to always put our family first and of course, leave time for pizza night at Barley's. Here on out, our journeys are one. I vow to ensure it is one of kindness built on trust. I promise to you that I will be your best friend and will always make time for you, celebrate you, and love you. My hope is that our life together takes us on endless journeys where I continue to fall in love with you over and over again. I love you forever, Philip. I can't wait to see where our dream takes us. Welcome. We are gathered here today in the presence of God, family and friends to unite Phil and Allie in the sacred act of holy matrimony. You take Allie to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her till death do you part. I do. You take Phil to be your lawfully wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her, to him, till death do you part. I do. Allie, I bring you this ring. A symbol of completeness and eternity. A symbol of completeness and eternity and I give it to you to wear. And I give it to you to wear. So that we will always remember our wedding vows. So that we will always remember our wedding vows. Phil, I bring you this ring. Phil, I bring you this ring. A symbol of completeness and eternity. A symbol of completeness and eternity. And I give it to you to wear. And I give it to you to wear. So that we will always remember our wedding vows so that we will always remember our wedding vows. In the presence of God himself, and by account of the witnesses of your friends and family, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride.
given you my best friend and my soulmate. So with this, I say good luck. Um, be there for her through the hangovers, the mental breakdowns, whatever, just be there for her. And I know, and I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that you will treat her like the queen she is. And I've noticed ever since you, uh, you know, you showed up. I don't remember when that was. Uh, partially because I stopped thinking of Philip as a single person and started thinking of Philip as Callie. Uh, he's really, um, he's become a person, and I have, I think I have you to thank for that. Interesting thing is when Allison was on the prom court. Um, anybody care to guess who was standing behind her? Mr. Phil Gilman standing behind her. And what do we suppose was going through Phil's mind at that point? Someday that queen will be mine. And here we are. <laughs> 